Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel today. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the Sony XB950B1 headphones. Leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know what, what other videos you want me to do. Let's get started. So the box that your headphones come in is going to be something along the lines like this. So it says extra bass, the number, Sony, yada yada, all that sort of stuff. I've got this in red, but you can also get this in black or in blue. So if you're a fan of black and blue colours, these headphones are for you. There's also the 950M ones, so if you're into noise cancellation or if you want your headphones to fold down and to be a lot more portable then you can get the M1s for about £40 more so this costs around £79.99 and then for the M1s it's £129.99 so if you round it up this costs £80 the M1s cost £130 so it's pretty much £40 to £50 more if you want the M1s downside of that is with the M1s it only comes in black or green so it really depends on what colours you like and also this doesn't fold down and this doesn't have noise cancellation but I mean I don't really think that's a necessary feature noise cancellation in terms of the quality now I've had this for like four I think it's going up to five months it's holding up pretty well I mean it's got a few scratch marks like just barely here like above where it says wireless on the band bit here uh, in terms of like the quality when you retract it and untracked it and all that sort of stuff. I'm trying to figure out another word to say it. It has this kind of plasticky noise, which I mean, for some people they may not like this kind of feel to it because obviously it's plastic, it's made from plastic. The only like leatherette part of it is this fake leatherette part up here on for where the top of this would be, which is on the top of your head. Again, it's not as bad as you think. Like, trust me on this one. Now it does swivel around, so it can give you a nice comfortable fit but it doesn't fold completely in half as what other headphones. Now, the only other competitors I would say for this headphones is the Skullcandy Crusher Wireless or the Skullcandy Hesh Free headphones. Like, I think Skullcandy has a little bit of better sound, but to me, like, I'm just used to Sony headphones. Now, the one main feature it has on this thing is the bass effect feature, where basically, it kind of gives it more of like, it improves the bassiness of the music that you're listening to. So if you're into, like, if you wanna hit a lot of bass in your music, this is one of the very good headphones, like, especially for those students who are on a budget and wanna find a decently good headphones for less than a hundred pounds. I know that for some that is not good enough and they want her for, like beauty headphones for less than 50 quid, which I mean, there, there's a couple for less than 50 quid, but they're not as great as if you paid a little bit more for this price range, which I would totally recommend. So let me just talk about the base effect features. Basically, you would need to download the app, so the Sony app, so let me just show you quickly. Download the app for the, the headphone stuff. My headphone's off, so let me just do that quickly. There we go. Okay, so this this is what the app looks like. There's my headphones on the top bit. Uh, it shows me how much battery I have. I have full battery so far. Now, for this section, the VPT section, as you can see here, you can change the way of how you, how you want to hear the sound. You can change it to an arena setting, club setting, outdoor setting, concert setting, or you could just leave it off. Personally, I don't think it gives it a better music experience. I would suggest just leaving it off because it, it sounds fake, it sounds artificial, so I wouldn't recommend using any of those surround sounds. And then in terms of, the, and then at the bottom here, it's the clear bass, so you control how much bass you want out from your music. If you want less bass, you just lower the, the, the level of the bass. If you want more bass, you just up the bass. So that is pretty much main bass booster. Personally, I'll just leave it up because I want to hear some, like a lot of bass in my music, especially for pop music where doesn't, there's not really a lot of bass music in most songs that I've listened to. So having the bass booster on, like just it makes the sound of that music a lot better to listen to. So that is that done for the main feature. Uh, let me just talk to you around the rest of the headphones in terms of the what buttons do, how to change music, how to go back to the previous sound, increasing lowering the volume and all that yada yada. So let's talk about this left ear cup. So this is your left ear cup, this is your right. So where you're watching this video, that would be right, this would be left. So, on your left ear cup, you have the power button. As you can see, it flashes when um, Bluetooth is connected and it's paired to something. So this blue light over here next to the power button will flash blue to say that it's on and it's connected. Then you have the bass effect button where you can switch it on or off depending on the type of music that you're listening to. Um, I just personally, I leave it on because it sounds nice. Then you have the micro USB charging port. It doesn't come with USB-C, so if you're into headphones that have USB-C port, 
obviously you're gonna pay a lot more personally it just doesn't bother me because like not every single product out there has USB-C so only my MacBook has USB-C that's it the rest of my products don't have USB-C which is a little bit annoying because you know USB-C is becoming the new standard charging port I'm not really fussed over it then you have the input now with your headphones when you unbox the thing you're gonna get a micro uh, you're gonna get a 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter headphone jack cable so if you so if the headphones that you're trying to connect to um, don't support this headphones because it only works with iPhone, iPod or Android devices, it doesn't, it will not connect to the iPad or Mac OS or Windows because I've tried that and it doesn't work. So you're going to need the, the cable in order to use these headphones to listen to your other devices. I would totally suggest keeping the cable with you at all times. When I was taking my laptop with me to college, I just connect it to the USB-C to a headphone jack dongle thing, and that's it. And then finally, you have the microphone because you know, you can make calls and answer calls for your headphones, which is pretty cool. And then on your other side, we have your music switcher. So basically that's your media control and that's your volume control. So how this works is if you wanna listen to a music, like if you wanna switch the track forward, you slide it up. And then if you wanna go back to the previous track or start the track all over again you slide it backwards and to pause and play the mute track you just press it downwards and then you press it again to pause it and then it's the same procedure with answering and ending call so you just press it down to answer the call and then press it down again to end the call that is how to use the headphones do I think it's worth it for the money the answer is yes to an extent I'm just gonna say that it's a little bit pricey for most people. If you're on a budget, but you have a bit of money to spare, but you don't wanna spend over a certain limit, these headphones are certainly good product. Even though you don't have noise cancelling, even though they're not as portable as you may think it looks on camera, it's, it's still pretty good. If you wanna put it in the carrying case, I would totally suggest you doing that if you don't want your headphones to drop and break, and then you have to buy a new one again. Is it worth 80 quid? Yes, it is. Let me play some music. I haven't even powered on the headphones yet, and you can you can pretty much just about hear the music, and it's on full volume. Let me put my head. It's pretty comfortable. I really can't hear the surroundings around me apart from the fan. Okay, you lot can just about hear the bass. Wait, hold on. Okay, uh, the beat's gonna drop uh, in the next few seconds. So as you just heard, that was pretty good music for the money. So yeah, I would totally suggest buying it if you're on the budget. Uh, if you're looking for something more volume, and I would say a bit more treble in your music, just go, just find some different headphones. Thanks for watching, peace out, bye.